Hey folks, welcome back to my time at Sandrock. Today is the day of the group photo. We should go and check. Uh, what's happening here? There we go. Oh, no. Oh boy. Okay. Well. I got problems. Oh, there you are. I think that's about everyone. Go ahead and take your place for the group photo. Okay, uh, there was a problem with my controller there, but uh, it seems to have resolved itself. While we're all here, I just want to take a moment to thank everyone for being here at the Little Woods and for always being there for Sandrock. That's right. It's been a long road up to this point, but at the end of the day, there's one thing we can all agree on. This town is our home. I'm happy to announce that this small grove we've planted is only the first step. After this, City Hall will begin working to secure funding for a new project. The building of a road to Portia. With this road, we can shorten the distance between us and that city-state, driving down the cost of imported water. With a proper water source, and our newfound ability to plant trees in the desert, it is my belief, no, my conviction, that Sandrock will be green again. Um, Madam Mayor, do you mind stepping into the frame? Um, oh, right. Of course. Everybody say trees! Trees! Hmm. Now, where's the other mayor? The woman you wanted featured in the article? Ma'am, time for your close-up! Mr. Ernest, do you mean me? I'm the minister here. Apologies. Apologies to be sure. Still getting used to how you all run things in Sandrock. I'm sure you're very busy as well, so let's just come with me and we'll find you a nice backdrop for your front pager. Thanks again to everyone for being here. As they say, see you in the funny papers. All right, folks. Show's over. Head on back to your homes. Silvercore, let's escort. Unsure? You're on the perimeter. Cap, you're with me. Pen, you stick with the minister and poofy pants guy. Roll out. <gasps> You just had to try. He didn't even look at the photo. Hmm. Okay. So, I would gather Logan's about to attack. Mm hmm. Say fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles. Yeah. Yep, there it is. And Pen can't do anything because he ate some spicy food. <laughs> It seemed what about time for something like Are that. You all right? That was cool, boss. My gosh, that was Logan. Oh, the humanity! They took Matilda! Won't someone go after him? I'm afraid those two are long gone. Are you all right, Sheriff? <laughs> Do you want me to help you up? We could come back later. <laughs> I'm more than all right, buddy. I got him right where I want him. Yeah, he hit him with some kind of, like, scented fruit or something. Something we can use to track him. You do? I've got it! Justice, while careening through the air, must have reached into his utility belt and whipped out a tracking device, attaching it to Logan's horse. Which will lead us directly to his lair! Brilliant! Tracking what? What kind of budget do you think we have? No. The substance stuck to that sinful scoundrel steed was none other than catnip. Captain, ho! Now, <laughs> all we have to do is, dang, he's going pretty quick. Unsure, let's ride. You too, anybody who can fight, it's now or never. Follow that cat. You heard the man. Anyone willing to fight, get whatever supplies you need from town and follow that cat. Okay, so, uh, very, very interesting. 
Obviously, last time we had kind of an intimate moment with Katori, who sort of exposed her soul to us. We weren't able to reciprocate her feelings, but she's a dear friend, as are many of the other women in town, and some of the men. And uh, despite the technical difficulties at the start there, it is time for another day in the desert. And uh, we have everything we need. We got our daggers. We're going to head off into the desert. We're going to chase down Matilda and Logan. And we are going to save the day, because that's who we are. Max the Builder, a.k.a. Max the Protagonist, can do anything and everything. Uh, so yeah, while we were in the middle of all that, like, uh, you know, Little Woods hype and what, what have you. Oh, look at this. Unsure is on foot. Do, do you want to hop up, buddy? Have you ever tried counting things? Don't be intimidated. It's actually easy once you get the hang of it. Damn it, Unsure. We don't have time for small talk. Uh, while we were in the middle of that, and like, it, it just seemed obvious to me that we can't have progress, uh, without a setback. It had, it had, it had to be some sort of attack from Logan. I did not see the kidnapping coming, but I knew he had to get involved somehow. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get over here and chase down. Also, I was impressed by Mion's, uh, instant ability to understand what Justice had done. That's why she's my woman, yo. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. We're in the Eufaula Outback. Uh, okay, so is this a new area? Yeah, I think it is a new area. All right. Let's take a look around and start exploring a bit. So we can see there's a couple of, like, decrepit ruins here, buildings that used to be. I don't think there's much else right now. But if this becomes a new area for us, uh, there could be some interesting items here. Like, is this something I can smash up? No, okay. Hey, you're here. Just in time. We have lost Captain. Huh. But the catnip dropped off in this spot. So that means Logan and Matilda are inside. This will be high on danger. I drew up a plan before for something specifically like this. But I don't have time to dig it up. So here's plan B. We go in, we stick close, I'll cover you, let's move. Sounds like a plan to me. That's all the plan we really need. All right, we've entered the desert cave. Let's see what we're dealing with here. There's a clue on the ground. No, it's just a throwing rock. Oh, something happened. All right, we got a trippy in over here. Oh, Unsure's a dagger fighter too. Or is he a, is he a melee fighter? Got some manure. Looks like time is paused and stamina usage is paused as well. So as we've seen in other sort of like um, scripted events, we're not going to burn anything here. And we're clearly well, well over the level needed to be here. So this should be kind of a cake cakewalk. Let's take these things out, gather up the free materials and goodies. And let's see where we're trying to go here. I think we gotta head back up and cross this bridge. There was something that did like 9,000 damage or something there, but I'm not sure what that was exactly. Oh, hold on. We've got a little bit of a platforming challenge. Oh, there's rocks dropping from the ceiling. That's not great. Let's try and avoid that if we can. Ooh, yeah. Stalactites falling down. Now then, I would like to get this treasure chest. Okay. A microchip. Very nice. Alright, more enemies ahead. We got an Alpha Rockina roll here to deal with. These guys jump around like crazy, but if we can overpower them with damage... Yeah, it's just a quick damage race to beat them. And these stalactites are falling everywhere. I don't know. I don't know about that. That seems pretty rough. Pretty harsh. Hopefully we don't get hurt too badly here. 
All right, we've got uh, a wolf tooth pendant. What else are we dealing with? These ruins, whatever they are, are pretty dark. And we've got a drop down here and another hidden chest. Some amber, we'll take that. Come on, boys, keep up. Okay, so there's like... See how there's that little bit of sand there? I think, yeah, that means that can fall. So I wonder if I shoot this thing. No, we can't get it to fall down. All right. Hmm. I thought I thought the sand here was a hint that this is where a stalagmite or a stalactite could fall and be like be. Yeah, if I get close enough to it, it does happen. So we just have to keep an eye out for those and avoid them. We got a Rockina roll over there. But uh, before we take that on, let's go collect whatever goodie this is. Oh, I've trapped myself. All right, more amber. We'll take that. No, Unsure's a sword user. Okay. So Justice has the hammer and the gun. I think Unsure has a gun as well, but he's a he's clearly a sword user. That's kind of cool. I guess if you think about it, it makes sense, right? That's the blandest choice. <laughs> like, I'm cool and edgy, so I use daggers. Justice is strong, so he uses his pistol and the hammer. Unsure is like, I'm a fighter, so obviously I use a sword, because that's what fighters use. Let's keep moving here. I don't need throwing rocks. All right, we've already got a healing, like, location here. So let's heal up. And we'll do a quick save. And push forward. Shh. Did y'all hear that? We have ways of making you talk. Yeah, we have ways. Please, I don't know anything. Liar! Tell us where the water is. Yeah, tell us where the water is or else. Water? You want to steal our water next? Logan, you don't have to do this. Andy, the instrument. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, not that. Anything but that, please. Someone help me. Do it. No. Dang. What are they doing to poor Matilda? We got to hurry. All right. Well, it's a kid's game, so I assume they've got some sort of like, like automated tickling device Weapons or hot. something. Let's do this. <laughs> Weapons hot. Tell us what you know, minister. All right, let's get in there. Reach for the sky, banditos. The jig is up. Justice. <laughs> you just don't have to get messy, Logan. <laughs> Called it. Listen, it's not too late to turn yourself in. We can go easy on you. Just hand over the feather, nice and slow. <laughs> you sure you got enough folks to bring me in? Yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty sure. Let's find out. Boss fight. Ooh, that hurt. Okay, he's he's got some he's got some power to him. Yeah, he knocked me over pretty good. All right, he's broken. Let's do some work. I think we, yeah, okay, we got to a, a level. Oh, Pen is actually a good fighter? What? Let's move. Help! Help! Press to save Matilda. Stay to chase Logan. I pressed it, so we're going to go save Matilda. Are you all right, Minister? That awful brute tied your restraints with such unamicable stringency. Double knots, really? What? I... Animal. I can't believe Penn was actually useful. That was incredible. I thought he was just like a puffed-up idiot 
like a bodybuilder with no actual value to the town. But he actually fought Logan really, really well there. I'm so proud of him. Yes. Oh, thank the light you all showed up right in the nick of time. My wrists are a bit sore, but other than that, I'm fine. Sorry you got kidnapped, ma'am. I hope you won't let this reflect poorly on the reputation of the Civil Corps. We try really hard, you know. <laughs> uh, dang it! We were so close this time. Let's just get the minister back to town. She's been through enough for today. I, I'm all right. Just a bit... dizzy. Whew. How... how did you find me, anyway? <laughs> minister, I thought you'd never ask. Okay. Uh, so he's gonna tell her the story, how, uh... How he threw the catnip <laughs> at Logan and Deputy Captain Cat uh, tracked her through the desert. I would like to take a moment here to just investigate Logan's hideout. See if we can get any clues or resources or anything really uh, from being here. So that's that's the exit, I think. Let's take a look at the map here. Okay, so this is a dead end, but I can't remember if we've been here or not. There might be something good squirreled away in here that we want to grab before we leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, there's something over here. Masterpiece of a fishing contest. And then I'm gathering there's some wood scrap and hardwood and whatnot. Okay. Anything else? Nothing up here. I don't think there's anything up there or nothing we could get to anyway. All right. I think we made the right choice. Rescuing Matilda comes first over uh, catching Logan, right? Because she could have been really hurt. Um, I think we, yeah, we came in from here. There's like another little, what is this? What is that symbol? I don't know what that is. Oh, look at this. There's like a blade here. What is this? Broken sword? Okay, broken sword plus one. Where did that go? That, what is this? Fishing contest? Uh, broken sword, it must be in my key items because I don't see it in the inventory here. Okay, I'm glad we checked because otherwise we might have missed that. Is there anything else? No, that seems to be it. Okay, like I said, I'm glad we, we chose to rescue Matilda. I think that was the right choice. Obviously, Logan has to continue to be a threat to the town in order for this game story to progress. So even if we'd made the other choice, I don't think we would have caught him and would have reflected poorly on us to let Matilda, to risk Matilda. That's no longer viable. So we're just trying to exit now. Okay. Let's get out of here. And catch up with the rest of the townsfolk and just, you know, talk about what just happened. All right, 90 meters. And we're out. Okay, we got to go to the meeting point. Well, I guess Ernest has a much better story now, right? Than the Little Grove will be like a footnote to the story of the kidnapping now. Also, did I call it with the kid with the feather or what? The tickling torture? <laughs> I don't know who Andy is, but uh, I guess Logan has recruited him somehow. Whoa! Oh yeah, the posse showed up. We came as fast as we could. Even Cooper. Well, Cooper likes Matilda. It's Trudy that he doesn't like. Matilda, are you all right? Um, where is Logan? He got away. He was in a frickin' cave! How do you dolts manage to bungle this one? 
Inconceivable! I guess as long as the minister is okay. No refunds on the pitchforks, folks! Now, now, everyone. Let's all just calm down. Enough! I've had it! I demand that Logan be brought to justice! What do you think, standing there and shouting is going to change something? It's not like we're not trying, idiot. Yeah! That's, that's right. right! To me? It's clear that our current oh, regiment is simply right. not up to the task! Miguel, it's... it's all right. I'm fine. The Civil Corps and the Builder found me. Pen! Where was the protector of Sandrock at the ceremony? Was he not supposed to be watching over you and the photographer? Uh, he had mud butt from eating too much spicy food. Uh, well, you see, Pastor, what happened is they... had this new dish at the Blue Moon and... Silence! Resting on the laurels of our mayor's experiment, we can't let this bandit ruin our future! Force us to live in fear! It was the minister today, but it could be any one of us tomorrow! Miguel, you need to take a serious chill pill, dude. I've said it privately, now I'll say it here in front of everyone. Our city needs aid. Someone who specializes in tracking down scum like Logan and his gang of miscreants. To put an end to this once and for all! Trudy, you no doubt are aware of what I am alluding to. Um, yes. There was that specialist you wanted me to hire. Pastor, I appreciate your concern for my safety and that of the rest of us. But your specialist is not within our means. We have to trust in our core and push forward with the development of Sandrock with the road to Portia. Minister, with all due respect, there is no price too great to pay for lives. I'm tired of treating Logan like some petty criminal when he should be regarded as public enemy number one. I say we focus all our efforts on removing Logan. Then, and only then, can we safely hope to move forward. What do you say, Sandrock? I... Uh, well, if that's what everyone wants, uh, maybe we don't have a choice. Come on, Trudy, you're supposed to be the leader, not this milk toast doormat. There's always a choice, Mayor. No matter how incensed y'all are, the best laid plans are done so by cooler hands. Well said, Matilda. For now, all y'all head on back to your homesteads. Don't y'all worry about me, I'm fine now. Thank you, Builder, and our brave men of justice for saving me. Trudy, Civil Corps, and Pan, stick around, please. Wow, okay. Mission complete. Everyone was pleased with our, our response there. Uh, Miguel is out of his mind with fear and anger. No surprise there. That's what a fascist thrives on. I want y'all looking around in town. Start asking questions. Logan was asking me about water. It's as if he believes someone's hiding it somewhere. Huh? You don't actually believe that, knucklehead, do you? How could someone be hiding a non-negligible amount of water? The amount of space required to do so would be extremely noticeable. Not to mention the maintenance required to keep it potable. Great deduction. That's deputy level behavior right there, partner. That's what you said last time someone brought this up. Ah, well, uh, deputy level memory. Just keep polishing the mother skills. Uh, back to the matter at hand. Why would you place any merit in the ravings of a lunatic? I want to be 100% certain that Logan is off his rocker. He seems so sure of himself. We can't have any doubts in our mind moving forward, understand? All right. Reckon there might still be a few rocks we ain't turned over yet. That sound all right to you, Maya? Um, yes, I suppose so. I wonder if Miguel has been like, if he hollowed out the mountain underneath the church and created a storage tank there. Like, is he, is he actually a villain? Could he have been, like, hoarding water to create a climate of fear to allow him to take control of the town? Nobody's hiding water. I mean, that'd be the best, like, right under Matilda's nose would probably be the best place he to hide it. so certain. You okay? Uh-huh. I'm all right. Thanks for checking in. Wrist's I'll still a bit stiff, that but... Fool in half. I'll recover. Perhaps it's time I started spending a bit less time in the spotlight. To be leading the we charge against looked into this. bandits at my age. 
I trust Trudy, Miguel, and people like you to take up the reins and lead us forward towards the light that truly awaits at the end of this long, dark tunnel. Well, that's a I nice attitude to have. Let's check in with these other folks. Hmm. Well, it might not be the best decision, but it's what we're doing. We're hiring a specialist. Hopefully, if nothing else, this will keep folks from trying more extreme methods. And who knows, maybe he really will be the one to track down Logan and his gang. See ya. Yeah, you're a pushover. Pen? Hello. Holy crap, you were amazing. Ah. Uh, if I just hadn't eaten those Duvos peppers the day before. Mm. Oh, there they are again. Uh, aftershock. Uh, keep it together, pen, old pal. Keep it together. <laughs> See ya. And let's talk with Justice, too. Hmm. I'm fine with the idea of bringing some specialist out here. I ain't too big to deny help. If I'm being honest, this whole ordeal has really helped me understand my own weaknesses. More of a fight the bad guys kind of guy than a catch the bad guys kind of guy. Uh -huh. I actually can't even remember the last time I caught anything. Well, there was that one time where I caught you falling off that train. <laughs> remember that? But, uh, yeah, that's not the same thing, is it? Catch you later. No, Justice, it isn't. All right, so an, an extremely eventful morning here. Uh, today is a drug day. We could try that. It's Macchiato's birthday. He likes salted fish. And we're waiting for these broad beans. For, uh, for Fang here. But other than that, yeah, we don't have a lot to do. Um, actually, let's check. There could be... Oh, yeah, look. The whole town is out here wandering back to town. Um... Yeah, I don't see anything really on the map in terms of events. So, since we're out here already, we might as well chop some wood on the way back. Maybe hit up some aluminum scrap. If we can find it. That is not that. Uh, let's see, what can I find here? Probably more likely to find minerals than dead wood because I've chopped a lot of it in the past couple of days. Man, everybody's walking. Like, look at these people. They're walking across the dunes. Yeah. I hope you I hope you turn out to be the villain so I can fight you, Miguel. I do not like him at all. I understand him, I think, but I don't like him. He's the only person in the whole town that I'm like, yeah, the town would be better if you left, bro. Yeah, we're a long way out here. Not seeing much in terms of dead wood. I did chop down a lot of it in the past couple of days, so it might might take time to respawn. I don't know. I'm not quite sure how it works. What else we got to work with here? Boxing jacks. I guess I can I guess I can grab some minerals. Got some minerals here. Uh, we could always use the graphite. Hey. Looks like we picked up a shiny scorpion. That's good news, because our little meerkat friend likes those, and we don't have a better way to get them. <laughs> I wonder what else he likes. So, he likes the bloodstone, and he likes uh, the shiny scorpion. Maybe he's like the raven. Uh, maybe he's like X. He likes shiny things? But he didn't like the opal that we tried to give him. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I think grabbing up some minerals is fine. Another shiny scorpion, very nice. Plus all the graphite. Uh, we've actually got kind of a lot of steel right now, so I don't need more. I guess it's more a, a matter of like making the best of the fact that we're already out here. I could go back to the Valley of Dreams and farm some aluminum. That could be a good use for my time. Or we could do we could do a romantic date with uh, with Mion today. I am interested to hear her reaction to the morning's events. I think I think we're done farming minerals for now, so let's head back to town and figure out what else we can do. We didn't get a chance to do our morning workshop stuff. Uh, so for the sake of video time, I will take the ride here because it's faster than going by foot. And we'll head back to the workshop.
Okay. Let's see what's going on back home. We will have lost all of the dew, I think. It will all have melted away. No, it's all still there. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's collect our deliveries and our mail. Tumbleweed Standard. Lost in the Little Woods. Sandrock recently celebrated the opening of their Little Woods, project which is part of the ongoing redevelopment of Sandrock. Sandrock is a town that has a storied history. A town which once was a thriving center for archaeology and development, a treasure trove for lost relics. The eponymous relic rush was a time of riches, where everyone saw goals in their eyes, their gaze fixed on this small oasis of untouched old world jewels. That rush was fleeting, however, soon the resources had dried, and the town braced for a new, rapidly degrading environment. Sandstorms, droughts, pirates, and bandits. These terrors brought Sandrock to its knees. The exodus left the town as a shadow of its former self. But this has been changing. A new future is on the horizon. Sandrock has been working tirelessly to fight back against the conditions that plague the town. Even in the short time I've been here, Sandrock has made strides to be a safe and hospitable place for future generations. The ultimate goal? To make Sandrock green. This may seem like a Sisyphean task, but I've witnessed firsthand what human dedication and wits can do. The Little Woods Project seems to herald the start of this new age, and although a modest effort for now, the allocation is a huge swath of desert. This, I, this seems to be a humble start, but with lofty ideals. This reporter had the welcome chance to ask a few questions of Trudy, the mayor leading this replantation effort. After a round of pleasantries and thank yous, the motivation for staying in Sandrock was made abundantly clear. It's part of our lives since our childhood, said the mayor. We do this for all the people we've lost here. And finally, with fervor hard to replicate in text, if we let Sandrock disappear, we let their memories fade, and with it, allow their sacrifice to be meaningless. These powerful words exemplify the attachment and determination the citizens have for this town. They're not doing this for themselves, but for the people who have given their lives to turn this small patch of desert into a little place called home. Written by Ernest. That's actually a pretty good article, Ernest. Well done. Okay. So, uh, looks like we've got some raspberries here. Let's go ahead and harvest those. Raspberries are fully grown. Uh, what do we, we got two more raspberry plants next door, so what do we want here? Sand leek, wheats, tomatoes, uh, oh, they just, they just came, they just came finished. We planted some broad beans over there, I think. Yeah, those are, those are cooking now. All right, let's replant the raspberries, and then we'll harvest these. Do you need, you need water. Looks like you need some fertilizer, too. How are you mushrooms doing? Oh, you need a lot of water. And fertilizer. Okay. Alright. Let's replant over here. Uh, we probably got enough raspberries for now. What do we want? got enough mushrooms sweet potato peppers sweet potatoes i would like we've got plenty of tomatoes actually we used a bunch of tomatoes didn't we to make tomato fish all right let's get some uh let's get some tomato seeds planted that'll give us potatoes and tomatoes let's get this watered and fertilized okay Let's come check what's going on over here. And harvest the chestnuts. Harvest the coffee tea. Cantaloupes are four days out. Uh, the broad beans are eight hours. And the rhino horns are another four days. So the broad beans will be ready later today. That's good news. Uh, let's exit the planting interface. And yeah, I, I saw this morning this had gone empty. All right. We've got 250 water. We're doing we're doing plenty okay for the water on the waterfront. Need to put some food in here. Um, let's go with some tomatoes. Let's put in some chestnuts. And let's put in a sand barrier too for good old lickety spit. Now coming over here, we've got fun a bunch of things finished up as well. Let's collect these up. Uh, we'll do our recycling. Uh, 
All right, collect this up. Seems good. Collect up all our bars and see where we stand in terms of new bars to make, things to do. Let's see. So, uh, plenty of bricks and glass. Nobody's been asking for that. Looks like we've got plenty of copper. We need bronze. Okay, let's get some bronze going here. There's 36 bronze in the work. And with that, we're caught up on all our stuff here. Let's go ahead and fix our inventory. And a few things left over. How full are we? Okay, we've got a little bit of space left here. Uh, this we probably want to put up. HP plus 83%. But, you know what we do need? Uh, and we haven't made one of these before, but I bought the recipe. We need a large storage. Large storage box requires iron latches. We apparently have 37 of these from the recycler. And five manganese steel bars. Let's make one. Very cool. All right. Uh, so we need a new location for this. I guess we'll put it in between the other types of storage. Because moving forward, this will be the type we make, so that's fine. All right, very cool. More storage available. Love that. Uh, what about this picture of Masterpiece Fishing Contest? Where can we put this up? Right here? No. Right here. Okay. Cool. Porsche Fishing Day. I wonder if this is a reference to some of the characters from the first game. I don't really recognize them. There was a Fishing Day in the first game, which I experienced on my vacation when I was playing the first game on the Switch. Um, but I don't recognize those characters. All right, so we can go to the clinic. Let's go to the clinic. Um, I have dried sanded Cuda, but I don't think Macchiato liked that. He liked the sanded fish, but he didn't, I don't think he liked this. I would love to find somewhere I can purchase sandworms. Does it say where I can get these? Wandering Y store. Oh, I can get them at the ranch. Okay. Let's stop at the ranch and pick up some, some uh, worms before I forget. Maybe we can buy something for Macchiato here, too. I don't know what they sell here. Maybe he likes milk. He's a cat, right? Uh, let's buy all the worms we can. And... Yeah, let's... Let's get him some yak mail milk. Just one. We'll give it to Macchiato if we see him since it's his birthday. Now, let's go try some drugs. We can usually find Macchiato pretty easily. He hangs out by City Hall and doesn't really travel around too much. All right, Fang, we're working on your Mapo Tofu. Uh, let's go with Brown today. It worked! It worked! What do you know? Feeling beefy. Learned golden bell pill. Okay. And we'll just have a quick chat with Fang. Mm -hmm. Come see me if you're ever feeling unwell. Come see Birdie! Oh, look at the poor bird. Ah! Mm. All right. So now what do we want to do? We, we're not quite ready for the beans. That's going to take another eight hours, so we'll turn that off. If we look at the map, there don't appear to be any events we can activate other than part-time work, which we're not that interested in. Uh, so... What do we want to do? Um, we could go hang out with Mion. Or... No, I think it's... I don't see her. There she is. Well... We want to give the cat his birthday present, and we want to do our commissions for the day. So let's get that done. Oh, there's another... Hold on. There's another floating chest over here. Is that the same one, or is that a different one? Where did that drop? Huh. 500 gold. We'll take it. Where are we? We're at 89,000. Very nice. All right. Yeah, let's go find uh, Macchiato. See if he likes milk. 
Hopefully he does. We'll get the birthday bonus, but you know, you never know. And then we'll do commissions. Is that macchiato? That is. Okay. Hey, buddy. Happy birthday. Aww. Do you like milk? Yeah. Plus four. All right. So he's not super fond of it. Too bad. We tried. I guess if you really want to work on them, you have to know what their stuff is by the time their birthday rolls around, right? And actually, the meerkat is usually wandering around either here or in this tunnel. I wonder if we can find him. I'd like to work on him because I'd like to adopt him. Yeah, he's not here right now. Okay, too bad. So sad. Uh, let's take a quick trip to Waterworld for water and then... Uh, we'll do commissions. I'm almost out of time on this episode. That, uh, that event took up quite a bit of time this morning. All right. Here's our daily water purchase for cheap. Let's head to the guild and see what commissions are on offer. Curious to see where the main story is going with this specialist they're hiring to come hunt down Logan. All right, commissions, what do we got? Hardwood sticks, 600 gold. Bloodstone cores, 750. Uh, there's more money on offer here. This, we can't really do. I don't think we have cantaloupe either. These are both about to be harvestable. Hmm. I'll take these two. And then... Let's see, seven rhino horns, ten cantaloupes. Eight sandicudas. We might actually have these. That's not bad. 670 gold. These two are better. I have to check how much cantaloupe I have and rhino horn cactus and how long until their, their growth is finished. Because we have them growing, but I don't know when they're available. And I don't really want to have things on my plate for multiple days if I can avoid it. Because it, it stops you from taking more. Uh, we'll make the bloodstone cores and we'll check on the cantaloupe and the sandicuda. Okay, that's two commissions done. And then if we go over to our food con containers, wherever they are, uh, we have one large sandicuda. We have 30 cantaloupe. Okay, we can do the cantaloupe, no question. Where are all my small sandicuda? Oh, did I turn them all into... I turned them all into dried sandicuda, didn't I? Yeah. We could catch those, though, pretty easily. Um, I don't actually need to carry this with me, so let me put it back. Okay, let's let's get some... We'll definitely do the cantaloupe. Oh, right, and I was going to check these other things. So you're going to be harvestable when? Yeah, see, it's three and a half days. I don't really feel I can do that. Same for the cantaloupe. I, I really don't think I can do that. These guys are almost done, but they'll be done later today. Uh, we'll do the cantaloupe delivery, we'll do the hard stick and the bloodstone cores, and then we'll figure out what our last thing for the day is going to be. Then I have, like, flirting with Mian, maybe taking a date with her late at night. We could do, like, stargazing and fireworks and stuff with her. Although, when we did the fireworks last time, it was kind of anticlimactic. They didn't actually show it. Maybe they'll show it if we're on a date. Uh, Alright, so Don B is upstairs. Whoa, that's a little creepy. I guess that's meant to be cute, but it looked like it was a noose for a second. All right, Rian, here's your hard sticks. Oh, thank you. And let's listen to what you have to say about this morning's events. Hmm. The way I see it, catching bandits is like catching a butterfly. If you snatch at it, it'll just keep flying away. But if you just sit and wait, maybe, just maybe, it'll land on you. You can have that one for free, Max. I don't know how much I want it, but thank you. All right, we've also got... Oh, I haven't actually taken the cantaloupe commission yet. All right, let's get up to whomever. Deliver these bloodstone cores. Is it a mirror? Looks like it's a mirror. 
Yep. Okay. It's crazy how well I know the folks in town now. Here's your commission. Thank you. And also, what do you have what do you think about what happened this morning? Hmm. I must say I'm alarmed to see what's happening in Sandrock. Sending a bounty hunter after one of their own? What do you think will happen when they catch him, I wonder? Yeah, it's a good question. So the specialist is a bounty hunter, like a Boba Fett character? Maybe too violent for Sandrock? But then again, maybe he won't be all he's cracked up to be. Maybe he won't be able to capture Logan. I guess we'll find out in time. Um, we're definitely going to do the cantaloupe. Yeah, we're at like 45, 46 minutes here. So I need to, I need to wrap this up. So we've got a couple things we can do at the start of next episode before we go to sleep. Uh, we can go find Mion and hang out with her. We can harvest the broad beans and make the spicy bean paste for Fang. And uh, we can spend our stamina on something. Maybe on Sandakuda? This will take now. And then Lungfish or Sandakuda. This is large, whereas this is small. The large is it's harder to control. Um... And this has more workshop reputation. I'll take the Sandakudas. All right. So we've got a couple more commissions. We got we got some things to do at the start of next episode before we wrap up our day here. And uh, I think that's where we're going to call it. That's going to be it for this episode. Uh, shocking events in the morning as the minister was kidnapped. But with our help, the Civil Corps and Penn were able to rescue her. Thank goodness for that. And now Miguel is starting his fascist rise to power. So we have to keep an eye on that. Put a stop to it if we can. We'll find out about this bounty hunter in later days, but that'll all have to wait for the next episode. Until then, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.